Welcome to the Wall Street Wrap, where we'll give you a quick glimpse of what happened in the U.S. markets on Thursday, August 5th. Major U.S. indices ended down slightly for the day, with the Dow down 5 points, the S&P 500 down over 1 point, and the Nasdaq lower 11 points. Economic news that impacted markets on Thursday included a report out by retailers showing that sales grew 3%, but missed analyst estimates of 3.2%. July is usually the slowest month of the third quarter for retailers who make room for the back-to-school season. Schools typically start in late August, early September, and is the second largest sales period for retailers after the year-end holiday season. Analysts attribute the slower pace of sales to weak economic trends, high inventory levels, and consumers putting off shopping later in the season. Investors have been focusing on the job market for signs of economic recovery and are awaiting a jobs report out on Friday. Consumer spending, which is the main driver of the U.S. economy, is closely linked with unemployment. In labor, a government report showed 479,000 people filed for first-time unemployment benefits, up from 460,000 the week before. This was the highest in three months. However, a report out by the payroll firm ADP earlier this week showed private sector employers hired 42,000 workers in July. Today's stock movers included Boeing, AIG, and BP. BP announced yesterday that it would lower prices at petrol pumps as a way of easing outrage over the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Most of the patrol stations are owned by independent operators who suffered after the spill as customers began boycotting BP patrol stations. And in world markets, both European indices and Asian indices ended the day mixed. In commodities, U.S. light crude oil for September delivery fell 46 cents to 82.01 a barrel, while gold's December contract advanced $3.40 to $1,199.30 an ounce. In bonds, the yield on the 10-year note declined to 2.92% from 2.95% on Wednesday after Treasury prices rose. And that's all we have for you. We hope this helps you with your trading day. Thanks for watching.